Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So, we've got something a little bit different today. It's a new product to us, but something that has been going around for a couple of years now. The Discovery Optics. So, with the Discovery Optics, I'm going to start with one of their cheaper, more basic models that would suit a lot of different purposes. We'll go into a bit, little bit of detail in a second on that. And then we're also going to focus in on their compact first focal plane model here. So, as I say, we're going to start with a cheaper one. Looks very similar to a lot of the lower end scopes that sort of get you up and running and come as part of a package. Uh, it's got 6 to 24 magnification, so nice widespread there, so perfectly suited to your general target use or hunting or any other application that you seem fit for, especially the beginners getting into their uh, target shooting. So you've got front focus on here. So once again, from 10 yards out to infinity. It is a little bit stiff, but I should imagine they work free as you use them. Flip up caps, as you can see front and back as well. So a really nice touch there. Quite a cool design there as well. Uh, turrets on here, they are lockable. So they're quarter MOA, and it's got quite a positive click on there. So for a cheaper scope, I'm quite impressed with the click on them. Nice solid lock down. And also your illumination here. So you've got red and green illumination with settings one to five on each one. So coming back to the rear of the scope, You've got your fast focus ocular adjustment there. I mean, for me, that is quite loose on the adjustment. So you've got to be careful with that, with the knocking it once it's on the gun. But once again, it is easy to use and easy to set up. So with this, it's got a half mil dot reticle. So with that half mil dot reticle, it does make it that bit easier for learning your holdover points. And that paired with the one inch tube means that mounts are very plentiful and easy to get hold of. And once again, a nice cheaper option to get fitted to your rifle. And that uh, combined with the 42mm objective means you're not going to be lifting that scope masses of, of way above the barrel. It's going to be a nice, comfortable area to get your cheek rested behind it. So, overall, for a sort of more budget scope, so not a bad option there. So, what we can do is move on to the first focal plane. I think that sums that one up. So, we're at the first focal plane model here. As you can see, this is their more compact one. So it's a very short scope for a 4 to 16 magnification there. My only gripe with this is there's a very small area for mounting the uh, scope to your rifle. So obviously it doesn't give you a huge amount of options on moving the scope forwards or backwards or getting that correct. However, that is a problem with all compact scopes. So you've always got to think about that no matter what the brand is. Any compact scope is, will it suit my rifle? Can I get the mounts needed to get the correct eye relief? This is a particularly short eye relief on these. The maximum it will go up to is 90 mil on the eye relief. So it will also be quite suited to your bullpup style rifles that the scope is generally rested closer towards your eye. So once again, nice set of flip up covers on there. Nice little touch. And in the front one there, you'll see it's got a honeycomb. So there's no need for sunshade on this. That will take some of the glare off and also take away any flash. Say if you're gonna be putting it on an airsoft rifle or, um, as such, or even for hunting, it takes away that bit of flash that you get from the sun hitting that lens. So, based on one piece aluminium tube, 30 mil, plenty of mounts available for that. So on this model, it's side focus, really smooth, easy to use side focus on there, from 10 yards to infinity. The turrets on here, as you can see, the nice design on the top and the side, just makes it stand out a little bit from the crowd. And with that, it's a lift up, adjust and push down locking system, as we saw on the earlier model. So with the reticle on this, as I say, it's first focal plane. So once again, that allows for quick, easy adjustments. And depending on the range you're shooting at, depends on if you're using it for ratting or if you're gonna be using it for a distance scope. Depending on what magnification you use, your aim points for holdover will always be the same. So these scopes have a complete adjustment in them of 20 mils, that's on the windage and the elevation. So it is a generous amount and you shouldn't have any problems with getting the zero or pushing your distance out a little bit. So, that sums up the two Discovery Scopes we've got in front of us. Obviously there are a lot more in the range and they're going to be on our website very soon. So if you want to know anything more about them or you want to go a little bit more in depth on any particular model, please feel free to give us an email or give us a call. Thanks for watching.